want you all to type this. There we go. Select. Select a dot username. B dot session ID. B dot blocking others. Underscore others. From V dollar session A comma DBA underscore locks B where B dot session underscore ID equals A dot SID and B dot blocking underscore others equals to blocking. Do that. So I got to join two tables, a dynamic performance view and a data dictionary view. So when I finish. Right? Has everybody done this? Has everybody done this? Huh? Invalid. Which one? Invalid what? Invalid what? Yes, sir. Invalid what? You catch on the video. Catch on the video. No, no, it's going to be on a website. Okay, you just you just log into the website. It's going to be this week. Yeah. Okay. Right? Who is who is going to invite invite identifier? Who has done it successfully? Okay, if it works for one, it should work for everybody. <laughs> I love it. Uh huh. You see that? Very good. Ah. Uh? Let's see. Others, others, others. DBA lock space B. DBA lock space B. Where B dot, B dot session ID equals A dot SID. Come on, let's go. <laughs> right, you got it, right? Very good. That's what I want to see. Uh, <laughs> How are we looking? Uh huh. Be that blocking others. Be that. It's this keyboard. It's, it's no, it ain't got nothing to do. You just didn't type it right. Be that. You put locking. That's a blo locking or blocking. Okay. You put. Look. Put, put blocking others. But you put locking. Yeah. Table view doesn't exist. Now, why are you doing all this in Scott? I told you guys to do this in the sys. You see? And she's blaming the keyboard. <laughs> she's blaming the keyboard for it. See? You type it right, it'll work. <laughs> right? Put it in the sys. Right? Is everybody there? Right? Is everybody there? Mr. Root, how are we looking here? Ah? Uh, let's see. Oh, right here. B. Session underscore yeah, ID. Yeah. Right? Huh? No row selected. That's because you didn't put blocking right. No, you did that right. Um, select A to B, B to from V to session and DBA locks west. B to session ID equals A and blocking underscore others equals blocking. Username, V to session ID, B to blocking others from V dollar session A, DBA locks B, where B dot session underscore ID equals A dot SID and blocking underscore others. I don't think I finished the, um, the HR one. The HR one. The HR one, the other one, the third one, HR one. My eyes can't pick up what's going on. Wait, let me see. My eyes can't pick it up, so let's do it like this. Put something going on. Enter. Okay. Uh 
type 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 where space so that where b dot session id b dot session underscore id underscore id equals a dot a dot sid semicolon enter enter see now we're down to 22 rows I'm looking for the one. Oh, you didn't do the HR one. That's why. You didn't do the HR one. That's why you didn't do it. That's why I don't get it. You didn't do the HR one. That's why nobody's blocking you. But you've already done this before. Just pay attention. You didn't do this part. Did you? You didn't do the HR one. That's why. That's why, it's all, that's why nothing, is, nothing is blocking for you. Right? So now, everybody. So now, we know who the culprit is, don't we? We know, we know that Scott is blocking somebody. You know what I'm saying? Scott is a, is a culprit. So now, at work, everybody pay attention. You got to pay attention to this part. At work, everybody listen to me. At work, what you're going to have to do now is this. You're going to have to email this user and say, hey, hey, bro, dude, you need to commit or do a rollback. You need to, everybody pay attention. You need to contact, you need to contact Listen, everybody, you need to contact that user and say, dude, you got to roll back or commit. What do you want to do, bro? Right? What if he's out on lunch? What if he's out on vacation? Right? Then what do you do? You say, you need to contact the supervisor. Hey, supervisor, this guy is actually causing other people to, to fail. I need to kill this user. Is that okay? You say, okay, he's, he's causing people. How long has this guy been hanging? It's going on about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kill him. Dude, send me that in an email, please, if you don't mind. Right? Send me an email. CYA. Cover your butt. Once you get that email, no problem. Then you kill him. Now, how do you kill this user? Now, the next thing I want you guys to do is, watch this. You guys have the session ID and the username, correct? Mm -hmm. Your session ID and that's, everybody's session ID is different. So now, in order for me to kill a user, in order for me to kill a user, I need his serial number as well. I need his serial number as well. So what do we do? To get that, I simply do what? Select session underscore ID comma serial underscore number from V dollar session where I think it's username equals Scott. I didn't describe the table first, so I don't know what the column is. I'm just doing it off my head. I'm not sure. Who did it? Well, session ID invalid identifier. Everybody describe, everybody, please do me a favor. Describe the V dollar session. As what? No, 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 no. No, everybody describe your V dollar session. You can scroll up. Serial number. Oh, sorry. Instead of such an ID, sorry, instead of such an ID, it's SID. SID. So select SID, comma, serial number from V dollar session, where user, on, I, said, I think it's username. Is there a username? Yes, username. Where username equals Scott. Where username equals Scott. Where username equals Scott. Very good. Yes. For all of you, it's going to be different numbers. For every database, it's all going to be different numbers. Everybody, let me know when you've done that. Has everybody done that? Very good. Single quote. Single quote. Single quote. Right? Single quote. How are we looking? Oh, yeah, still on that one. This guy. Well, you've done it before. Right? 
So now everybody, everybody has the what? SID and the serial number. So now it's time to kill this guy. We got to kill this guy because, dude, he can't, keep, he can't keep holding up people. That's a big deal, guys. He might not have to be affecting one person. He could be affecting a lot of people because there's a table lock and then there's exclusive roll lock as well. Right? So now, everybody, we have to kill this guy. So how do you kill this guy? We simply do what? Alter system kill session open quote whatever your number is. The, but it has to be SID, comma, and then the serial number. Whatever, that order. So I'm just going to say, let's say it's 255. Don't write, don't type 255. It's whatever yours is. And then let's say it's 56. Close the quote, semicolon. I don't know what your numbers are. I'm just picking 255, whatever. But it must be SID, and then the serial number. Serial number. Where's the your SID is the first column. Yeah, it's a number. It's a number. Yeah. It's a, yours is going to be 252, right. comma, 6. 252, comma, 6. So everybody do that. Alter system kill session. The SID and then the serial number. Right? Alter system kill session. The SID and then the serial number. Now, everybody... After you've killed that session, go back into your scott.emp tab, the one in the middle. Go back into your scott.emp tab, the one in the middle, and then just do something simple like describe, describe, is this a scott? Mm -hmm. Then do, describe EMP. So just say system altered or yes. say kill? And then do you see that? Yeah. Now, now go back into your, your yeah. scott schema. Your Scott schema, which one, which other one is, is that your, you see, your session has been killed. You see that? Your session has been killed. Right? Now go back to the Scott schema. And just do describe EMP, and you'll see that your, 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 your stuff is killed. Your, your session is killed. Okay, good. You see? It tells you, it alerts, it alerts you that what? Your session has been killed.